Good morning and welcome to North Knox Junior Senior High School for the Junior High Awards Day program. As we begin this morning, I first want to take a moment to thank all of our students and our parents and our teachers for another outstanding school year. It's definitely been a memorable school year, especially the last nine weeks of uh, school as we've uh, worked through the process of e-learning associated with COVID-19. Um, I know there's been times of frustration for our students and for our parents and for our teachers, but I can't say enough for all of the hard work and efforts and the teamwork that has been uh, that's been displayed as we have worked together uh, to uh, conquer this task. And again, I just want to let you all know that, uh, again, all of your efforts and hard work does not go unnoticed. And I just want to, again, take a moment to tell you thank you for all of your hard work and efforts. Um, today, we're going to be presenting several awards to our students. I have a few awards to give, and I know our teachers have several awards to give out as well. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first award that I'll be presenting today is the Outstanding 8th Grade Academic Award. This year we have six recipients. Uh, all six of these young ladies have been able to establish a GPA of 4.0 both during their 7th and their 8th grade years. Our winners this year are Cora Arms, Daisy Cardinal, Olivia Halter, Kaylin Road, Briley Utt, and Sherea Wolf. Congratulations girls on all of your academic achievements. The second award that I'll be giving today is the DAR Good Citizenship Award. Uh, we're very blessed at North Knox Junior Senior High School to have a, a great number of our kids that display character and citizenship on a daily basis. Our winners this year are Mr. R.J. Ketzel and Ms. Pearl Hagen. Congratulations, kids. The third award that I'll be giving this morning is the National Geographic Geography Bowl winner. Uh, earlier this school year, we conducted our school bowl. Uh, that first consisted of all of our 7th and 8th grade students taking a qualifying test. From that, we were able to establish uh, three 7th grade contestants and three 8th grade contestants, and we conducted our school bowl. Uh, from that, we were able to um, determine our winner, and Ms. Sherea Wolf was the North Knox Junior Senior High School uh, Geography Bowl winner this year. Uh, she then sat for the state qualifying test and did extremely well on that and, and qualified for the state competition. Unfortunately, with the uh, coronavirus, uh, she the state competition was uh, was canceled, and she wasn't able to participate in that. But nonetheless, we were extremely proud of Sherea and all of her efforts. And there's no doubt in my mind that she would have done extremely well on that state test as well. So, uh, once again, Sherea, congratulations on a job well done. The next award that I'll be presenting is the Outstanding Eighth Grade Athletes. The 2020 Outstanding Eighth Grade Boy Athlete is Mr. Carter Lindbergh. The 2020 Outstanding 8th Grade Girl Athlete is Miss Madison McCory. The final award that I'll be giving this morning is the Principal Award. The Principal Award is based on academics, involvement, and overall character. I'll be giving two awards today. Our 2020 uh, Principal Award winner, our first winner is Miss Lucy Sharon, and our second winner is Mr. Ian Frederick. Congratulations, kids. As uh, we finish up here, at least my portion this morning, I just again want to take the, a moment to thank each and every one of you for just another great school year. Um, again, it's been kind of an odd uh, school year this year that we've conducted, uh, especially the last nine weeks of school. Uh, we've definitely missed you over this past uh, nine weeks of school. I wish that that wish for good health for both you and your and your parents and your entire families. I uh, hope you all have a great summer, and we look forward to seeing you soon at the start of the 2020-21 school year. Thank you, and again, have a great summer. Take this opportunity to congratulate all of our Junior High Honor Court Award recipients. Uh, this year we have over 80 recipients, which is awesome. Uh, just as a reminder, in order for a student to uh, be an Honor Court Award recipient, they have to earn either Honor Roll or Distinguished Honor Roll privileges each time we've been able to offer the honor roll thus far this school year. So that's an awesome feat for our kids. They're to be commended. I again want to congratulate all of our parents for the, the efforts, support that you provide them. Uh, it's just uh, an outstanding job uh, by the junior high uh, class uh, once again this school year. Uh, so in order to uh, recognize them, I would now like to call off their names. Uh, we have Ethan Anderson, Caleb Archer, Cora Arms, Tessa Arnold, Madison Becker, Savannah Birdsong, Caleb Bottom, Claire Bowers, Caden Boyles, Jonathan Brock, Daisy Cardinal, Justin Cardinal, Alexis Cohen, Grayson Conrad, Wendy Cope, Kenzie Fox, Ian Frederick, Skyla Gilhausen, Cade Grotiguth, Pearl Hagen, Olivia Halter, Ainsley Hendricks, Regan Jones, R.J. Ketzel, Sydney Carey, Harley Keller, Trista Kirshner, Carter Lindbergh, Gabby Lemons, Gracie Leroy, Connor Liston, Madison McCory, uh, Keely Neeb, Hunter Noonan, 
uh, Levi Patterson, Austin Patton, Alexis Patel, uh, Austin Potwin, Georgia Price, Kaylin Rode, Madeline Sherry, Lucy Sharon, Ethan Stanzak, uh, Ariana Thompson, Briley Utt, Allison West, Lauren Wolf, Sharia Wolf, Lane Adams, Ethan Arnold, Brenda Batista Garcia, Olivia Beeman, Rory Bottom, Braden Clark, Brenna Collins, Allie Christ, Abby Deckard, Liberty Foreman, Skylar Gamble, Clary Holsher, Briar Carey, Cole Kearns, Cabela Limberg, Mally Lyons, Sydney Martinez, Alex McKinley, Riley Mincy, Marissa Patel, Lillian Fegley, Jake Phipps, Ariel Rickley, Cadence Riker, Gabe Robarge, Gracie Schultz, Brooklyn Sturgeon, Dakota Zink, Aiden Telegman, Olivia Trabant, Riley Wonky, Hadley Williams, Kate Wolf, Braxton Yenny, and Brennan Messel. Again, awesome job, kids. Congratulations on a job well done, and keep up the great work. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to announce my seventh grade Digi City Awards. For first semester, the academic honor goes to Mally Lyons, and the Attitude Award winners are Hadley Williams and Lane Adams. And for second semester, the academic honor goes to Alex McKinley, and Attitude goes to... Taryn Dukes. Congratulations. Hi everyone. I just wanted to announce my 8th grade Prep CC awards. For first semester, the academic honor goes to Sherea Wolf and Briley Utt, and the attitude goes to Claire Bowers. Second semester, the academic honor goes to Justin Cardinal. Congratulations. The award for outstanding academic achievement in Mr. Adams Fall Digital Citizenship class goes to Mr. Cole Kearns. Congratulations, Cole. The award for outstanding academic achievement in Mr. Adams' spring semester digital citizenship class goes to Miss Allison Christ. Congratulations, Allison. The award for outstanding academic achievement in Mr. Adams' 7th grade science class goes to Mr. Cole Kearns. Congratulations, Cole. This year in science, uh, my outstanding achievement student was Alex McKinley. I had a lot of students that had exceptional grades, um, but if I had to pick one at the very top, that would be it. And this year's um, outstanding attitude award could honestly go to a bunch, a bunch, bunch. Um, but I picked one, one young man who has been to almost every one of my Zoom meetings, my Google meetings, he's been to tutoring. Um, he has something kind to say every single day. Uh, I picked Donald J. Wampler, DJ Wampler. Um, I thank all of you for a great school year and I hope you have a healthy and fun, happy summer. The Advanced Math Academic Award goes to Mally Lyons. Congratulations, Mally. And the Attitude Award in Advanced Math, seventh grade goes to Alex McKinley and Allie Christ. My seventh grade Academic Award goes to Cole Kearns. Good job, Cole. And my Attitude Award in seventh grade math goes to Rory Bottom. someone who, um, she may not always like math, but always had a positive attitude, was willing to help others, um, try to keep everyone else on task, and that goes to Lauren Wolf. And I created a new award this year since we are in this major crisis. I created an e-learning award. This person um, may not have excelled well in the classroom, but has done really well with this e-learning, has pretty much turned in all of his assignments on time, um, never complained, and just worked real hard for me, and that goes to Connor Jones. Thanks. 
My Algebra 1 academic awards this year go to Sherea Wolf and Ian Frederick, and my Algebra 1 mental attitude award goes to Dalton Thurston. Congratulations. It's my honor to announce the winners for 7th grade social studies awards. For superior attitude, Cole Kearns. And for academic excellence, Alex McKinley. For U.S. History, 8th grade, Mrs. Dote's class. Superior attitude is Ian Frederick. And academic excellence is Sherea Wolf. Congratulations. Good afternoon. The 2020 Outstanding Attitude Award in the United States History goes to R.J. Ketzel. Congratulations, R.J. And the 2020 Outstanding Academic Achievement Award in the United States History is a tie. The first award goes to Miss Lucy Sharon, and the second award goes to Miss Kaylin Rode. Congratulations, ladies. Guys, have a great summer. See you next year. Hey guys, I just wanted to reach out and say you did awesome during e-learning. I know that this was definitely challenging and definitely new and we kind of all learned together, but you guys rocked it. Um, I would like to recognize a couple of people for the end of the year awards. Um, my academic award goes to Ian Frederick. Congrats. And then my mental attitude award for science goes to Olivia Halter. Congrats, guys. You did awesome this year. Hello. I will be announcing the award winners for seventh grade English. Um, in a tie for the highest GPA, my two awards go to Mally Lyons and Alex McKinley. And my mental attitude award goes to Hadley Williams. Thank you. Hey guys, Mrs. Blair here. I have two awards to present. The first one is for Outstanding English Academics for 8th grade, and this goes to a very deserving student, Miss Sherea Wolf. The other award that I have is actually a tie. It is for um, the English Attitude Award for 8th grade. It goes to two students who both exemplified just the desire to achieve, and the hard work necessary to get there, even though English really is not their favorite subject. This award goes to Sydney Kari and Harley Keller. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Gardner and I'm presenting the seventh and eighth grade art awards. This year for seventh grade art, the academic achievement award goes to Olivia Trabant and the mental attitude award goes to Olivia Beeman. For 8th grade art, the Academic Achievement Award goes to Savannah Birdsong, and the Outstanding Mental Attitude Award goes to Miss Wendy Cope. Congratulations! I also want to say a special thank you to all of my art students who worked hard to make art at home and get their assignments turned in to me. It's very much appreciated, and I hope everybody has a wonderful summer. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Crabtree. I have a few awards to present today. Our first is the Fitness Gram Award, and it takes a look at our mile run, as well as other physical fitness tests. And since we weren't able to be in school second semester this year, um, or at least the last nine weeks, we took a look at overall PE performance. Our female award winner for the Fitness Gram this year was Alex McKinley. Our male award winner for the Fitness Gram Award was Gabe Robarge. Our last award is our Mental Attitude Award. And our Mental Attitude Award is a combination of effort, enthusiasm, and leadership. And while I would say eight to 10 individuals were in strong consideration for this award, ultimately our Mental Attitude Award goes to Cole Kearns. I'd like to congratulate our three award winners. And I would also like to thank everyone and all of my students for making my first year at North Knox uh, very memorable and uh, a pleasant one. Thank you. Uh, I have three awards to present, two Fitness Gram Awards and a Mental Attitude Award. Uh, the Boys Fitness Gram Award for Best Performance goes to Kate Grotegooth. 
The Girls Fitness Gram Award goes to Alexis Patel. And the Mental Attitude for PE and Health class goes to Cora Arms. Congratulations to all three of you. Hey guys, Mrs. Houchin. I'm here to present the ninth grade English Highest GPA Award. And that award goes to Miss Emma Saucerman. I hope you all have a great summer and we hope to see you back in August. Bye. Hi, Miss Horrell here. It is my pleasure to announce that Natalie Irvine had the highest GPA in sophomore English this year. Hi, Miss Horrell here. It is my pleasure to announce that Natalie Irvine had the highest GPA in sophomore English this year. I'm here to present two awards. My first award is the Junior Highest GPA Award in English. That award goes to Miss Elsa Telligman. My second award is the highest GPA for the senior class, and that award goes to Miss Ainsley Roderick. Congratulations, both of you. Hi, kiddos. Mr. Houchin, I have two awards that I'm going to be presenting this year. The first is for the top female in physical education this year in the classroom and in the gym, uh, and that award goes to Miss Ava Williams. And the top male in uh, physical education and in the classroom this year is Mr. Jacob Mesnick. Congratulations, you two. And I hope everybody else continues to improve uh, here the, throughout the summer and into next year. Thank you. For world history, I had two award winners this year because we had two individuals who were so close to decide to give two awards out this year. So the first winner of the World History Award is Abigail McKinley. Congratulations, Abigail. And the second winner of the World History Award is Aubrey Smith. Again, congratulations to both of you. Great job. We present this award for the stock market simulation that Mrs. Craig and I did for our economics class. We had 18 students along with Mrs. Craig and myself that participated and the winner of this award had the highest percentage of profit and the winner of this award is Chase Albright. Congratulations, Chase. Great job. We are here to present the FCA Most Christlike Senior Award winners. We have two award winners this year. The first of those is Tori French. And the second award winner is Ainsley Roderick. Congratulations, Tori and Ainsley. Uh, you are both very deserving of this award and we are extremely proud of both of you. Devin Julian is going to get a letter for being on the science and social studies team. Rachel Pemberton is going to get a letter for being on the fine arts team. Landon Price, a letter for science and social studies. Aubrey Smith, a letter for science and social studies. And Casey Strait, a letter for fine arts. And I'd also like to present the Chemistry 2 Award for the person receiving the highest GPA taking two years of chemistry, and that would be Phoebe Warstel. And I also would like to present a certificate from the state. Uh, Phoebe uh, won a first place finish in the academic team science uh, uh, test that was taken. She got 42 out of 50 correct. Thank you. Okay, uh, I would like to present the Senior Academic Team Awards at this time. Ben Etmeyer is going to receive the academic letter for being on the spell team. And Wesley Strait is going to receive his star for being on the fine arts team. And Caitlin Thomas is also going to get a star
for being on the spell team and the English team. Hello, I have a senior award for outstanding achievement in family and consumer sciences. And that award goes to Ainsley Roderick. Congratulations, Ainsley. The students of the North Knox High School Band have voted for the following awards. For Outstanding Musician for 2020, Aubrey Breath. For Best Mental Attitude for 2020, Abby Irvin. And for the Most Improved Musician Award for 2020, Mac Memory. Congratulations to our High School Band Award winners. Hi, I'm Mrs. Malone, and I'm here to present the Elliott Rosewater Book Club Book Award. This goes to one of the most prolific readers I've ever met, senior Samantha Payne. Congratulations. Hey guys, Mrs. Blair here. I have three seniors that I would love to honor for their leadership and dedication in our drama productions. They are just incredible actors, so dependable, and they are going to be sorely missed. Shelby Bland, Stephen Calvert, and Caitlin Thomas. Thank you guys so much for four wonderful years, and we hope you continue to stay involved in theater, in college, or in your community. Hello, this is Mrs. Chatton. I am here at the Underclass Awards to give out the Outstanding Underclass Student Council Member Award. This award we um, created in memory of Kathy Wrench, who was a longtime student council advisor here. She was very active in student council at the state and national level. Uh, this goes to an underclassman who um, has given me 110% effort. I know that I could count on her no matter what. Um, she gave up a lot of time to complete her project. And this year's Kathy Wrench Outstanding Underclassman Award goes to Haley Gall. All right. Good morning, North Knox. Welcome to the Senior Awards. It's my privilege to give the 2020 Outstanding Senior Student Council Member. This year there was a tie. Um, I could count on these two people. If I would give them a job, I knew that they would carry it out and make sure that it was completed to its entirety and give me their best effort at all times. This year's Outstanding Senior Student Council Member goes to Ben Burke and Megan Kroll. Good morning and welcome to North Knox Junior Senior High School for our High School Awards Day program. As we begin this morning, the first thing I'd like to do is just thank each and every one of you for another great uh, school year. It's been a unique school year, especially the last nine weeks of uh, e-learning uh, tied to COVID-19. Um, just again, wanted to briefly tell you all how much we appreciated everybody's hard work, patience, understanding, collaboration, whether that's students, parents, teachers. It's just been awesome. So uh, I know it's not uh, been easy uh, for, for all of us, but again, I cannot uh, thank you all enough for all the efforts that you put forth. Um, this morning, we are going to uh, be presenting several awards. Uh, just in general, the first thing that I would like to do is congratulate our senior class of 2020. Uh, you're an outstanding uh, bunch of kids, uh, bright young adults, I should say, and uh, we are just uh, ecstatic on the accomplishments that you have made, and I know that you all have bright futures ahead of you. So uh, again, congratulations from all of us at North Knox High School on a job well done. Uh, we would also like to take this opportunity to, um, to recognize both our valedictorian and our salutatorian. The uh, North Knox High School class of 2020 valedictorian is Miss Brianna Page. Congratulations, Brianna. Our 2020 North Knox High School uh, salutatorian is Miss Emily Organ. Congratulations, Emily. Both of you ladies are, are outstanding uh, young ladies and, again, have very bright futures ahead of you. The next award that I would like to uh, share and present is the Southwestern Officials Association Award Scholarship. Um, this award comes to us, the Southwestern As Officials Association, they, get a, they vote on area schools in terms of hospitality. Uh, and uh, we've been, um, uh, been blessed that uh, we have won this award for the past several years. And uh, what comes with that award are two $500 scholarships that we get then to uh, give to our seniors. Our winners this year are Mr. Ben Burke and Miss Grace Yoakum. So congratulations, kids. Um, the next award that I would like to give is, is one that, um, that I truly, truly appreciate. 
Um, during the course of the school year, the office is a pretty busy place, very busy place, and uh, we have a group of kids that, uh, that are very giving of themselves and volunteer their time during what would normally be their study hall to help us in the office. Uh, without, their, uh, their, without their efforts, uh, a lot of what we get done in the office would not get done, so again, I cannot thank these kids enough. Our office helpers for the 2019-2020 school year were Tessa Haig, Zoe McCormick, Adrian Brock, Gracie Poe, Ainsley Roderick, McKinley Memering, uh, Lily Cardinal, Emma Elkins, McKay Burris, Elsa Telegman, Sarah Richardson, and Allie Phillips. So again, congratulations, kids. Thank you for all the help that you give us in the office uh, during the school year. The last award that I'll be uh, uh, giving this morning is the Outstanding Senior Athlete Awards. Uh, Mr. Dodes helps me with this. Uh, this award is uh, determined based upon points earned uh, via um, our student athletes with respect to uh, the points that they earn for the various letters and other accomplishments that they that they earn over the course of their high school athletic careers. And we have two outstanding uh, winners this year. The 2020 Outstanding Senior Male Athlete is Mr. Trevor Carey. The 2020 Outstanding Senior Female Athlete is Miss Emily Organ. Congratulations both to Trevor and Emily for, again, a, a great job. It's been fun watching you uh, both uh, during your high school athletic careers, and I know that you all are, are both uh, are, are destined for great things. So, again, congratulations to both of you. As I conclude my portion here this morning, again, just wanted to thank all of our kids and our parents and our community for another outstanding school year. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing all of our returning students next year for the 2020 and 21 school year. You all have a safe and happy summer. To our graduates, again, congratulations. Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And again, we know you're going to do great things. Thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank uh, everyone that made our video recognition possible. Uh, thanks to all of our teachers for submitting uh, their videos, uh, as well as um, Mr. Aldifer and Mrs. Kelsey Houchin for their uh, assistance in uh, getting the uh, video put together. Uh, super big thanks to uh, Miss Tessa Haig. She is um, kind of the brains behind this in terms of when it comes to the compiling all the videos uh, together. Tessa is one of our founding uh, student members of our NK uh, Connect Media Club, and uh, we know that this type of a project is near and dear to her heart, but I wanted to just send out a special thanks to Tessa for all of her hard work in getting this video compiled. Hope you all enjoyed it, and again, have a great summer.